She went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Job is the free folk. No, sir, they are outstanding. Well, well, well. Let's go. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? You've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Mr. West Dickens. 
I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest, but people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouth Funko artist I've never met. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. I see them. Mark, did you and Eli go check it out? Come on! Slow it up now. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal! Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the words out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. More vultures! This don't look so good! God damn it! Come on, let's take a look. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Go! Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. Sons of bitches! Didn't you once run a gang of outlaws, Marston? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. Place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Let's search the area. Nobody's in the shed! Let's go! like this. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Forgive me, sir. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Far 
enough. Get into that house and smoke those sons of bitches. I'm the goddamn law. Make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Oh, thank God. Hell no. Oh, good Lord above. for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. It'll be all right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Damn you. Time ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times. That's somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. 
You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Stand here. Stay in cover. Watch your head. Buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get the bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. I doubt you'll be needing this. You can't beat Ira Shelton in shooting. I'll bet you money. Sounds like easy money to me, partner.
Easy. Easy. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. got much money, and I'm with the family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> People just leave me alone. This is a nightmare. Do anything. Oh, my good lord. Please get that man away from me. 
Huh? Hey, fella. <laughs> you broke this oh, no. poor fool's oh, leg, mister. Uh, this maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> Off you go, then. <laughs>